Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and this is actually the second time I'm recording this video because I forgot to turn on my desktop audio because I am a bad YouTuber. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe for future content. But today, we're going to be reacting to an old Pokemon video, a relic of Pokemon's past. It is titled Pokemon Fastest Nuzlocke Speedrun Ever, a four and a half minute video by I'm Pink Hero, who was an infamous YouTube legend back in the early days of Pokemon YouTube. There wasn't much YouTube content back in the day for Pokemon, much at all. And this guy would upload very meme -y, very troll content back in 2013, and it was pretty much all the community had, so it was a good meme, and people enjoyed it, and it brought people joy, and I wanted to go over one of his classics today. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to check his channel out. It'll be linked in the description below. Make sure to go like his video uh, and give him that support. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey there guys, so I'm here, I'm Pink Hero, and I decided to make a non-slog because I know, like, everyone makes gameplays and they are watched, so I decided to try my own gameplay, it's going to be a non-slog. This is true, back in the day, Let's Plays were, like, especially 2013, this was like peak Let's Play era on YouTube, so honestly, good idea. And a fast one, non-slog, so I'll just... Oh, it'll be fast, alright pick uh, my character name that is going to be like uh looking at the old pokemon character creation screen is always funny to me these like calm eyes were a big deal back in the day these like flat lined eyes were very funny uh and this purple i love this purple color on the hair not gonna lie but the hairstyle is very funny uh and he spends a couple minutes here naming his character. or whatever what nickname can i give to my character i'll give it nicknamed character and the rival name will be like uh will be like shiny chancy oh i can't Chan i think he picked shiny chancy because back in the day that was probably the rarest shiny in the game um it was also just like the most hunted shiny in the game shiny chancy for those who don't know back in the day the economy consisted of lucky eggs so pokey yen actually wasn't tradable back in the day you couldn't trade via a currency so the currency became lucky eggs because they were a held item that increased the xp of a pokemon gained by like two times or 1.5 times um and it was the best item in the game essentially to increase xp and it was really everyone wanted the item whether you were a casual player competitive player etc it was a very desired item um, so everything became valued in lucky eggs. Certain shinies would be worth like four to six lucky eggs is how you would value them. So pretty interesting piece of Pokemon history there. A shiny chan oh I can S S X. And of course, lucky eggs were only able to be found on sh on chances, so they were very rare in the Safari Zone. Chinese Chansey X. So my character is going to be like this one. I don't want to lose many time. Uh, many time a long time with this so this is my character it's like i am this guy right here so i'll just go downstairs and fuck you mother you suck fuck you. i love his editing in here honestly his better his editing i always say i'm pink here's editing back in 2013 was probably better than my editing to this day i'll be honest this little thanks pokemon mode here he added this little text saying thank you to the game for welcoming him I don't know, that's comedy. Also, this video is surprisingly in 720p, which was really impressive back for 2013, so cool to see. He also flames all the NPCs and mothers. I don't know why that was a trend back then. Uh, I think it definitely... I don't know why people did that. Oh, every YouTuber was, like, attacking NPCs, and that was, like, the joke. I don't know why that became the thing, but it, it, it definitely was, and I remember it. You are, like, useless. So... <laughs> he says F you... Types out F you and calls her useless. Takes the time to do all that. Let's, oh my god, and I will, yeah, I can't, let's run up here, this is going to be a nuns lock, I'm not sure what, what, what Pokemon will I pick, but that's not really drastic, so, you know, Professor Oak, Professor. Back in this time period, I'd probably say that Bulbasaur was the best pick for a Nuzlocke especially. Um, this was before the AI changes, so before things became a lot more difficult, excuse that noise if you guys hear it, um, <laughs> someone revving their engines. Excuse that, apologies. Anyways, this is before the AI changes and everything was a lot more, a lot easier, as well as, it was a lot, there wasn't as many Pokemon in the game, it was only first gen, so things like Crobat didn't exist, Koga didn't have Crobat, there was a lot of different NPC teams, a lot of gym leader teams were changed back then, they were a lot easier, and I think they were, they were like, they fell in line with the traditional games. 
Um, so Bulbasaur was probably your best pick back here. Whereas I, he's still probably a really good pick for a Nuzlocke today. Although for like a traditional storyline run, Bulbasaur is probably, or sorry, Squirtle is probably the best. Getting access to Shell Smash it, nowadays is extremely good. Obviously, he didn't have access to Shell Smash back then. But if you're doing a normal run, get that Squirtle. If you're doing a Nuzlocke, you, it's more, you could, you know, there's a lot more options. Shell Smash is just really risky in a Nuzlocke run. Uh, you'd probably go for, for Bulbasaur for consistency and Sleep Powders are nice. Um... Although it's up to you. Charizard's scary because of that four times weakness to rock. I just never... It's, it's not always scary running four times weakness mons in a Nuzlocke. Oak, you suck. You suck. You suck. And then he continues to flame another NPC. Even Professor Oak cannot escape his wrath. You suck has bad, but whatever. So let's just pick a Pokemon for starters. I don't want to make a huge Nuzlocke because that's going to be really annoying. So I'll try to make a fast Nuzlocke and fuck you Chinese Chansey X. You are Chinese Chansey X. And I'll pick my starter. Oh my god, is this black? What the fuck? Um, let's pick Bulbasaur. Yeah, you guys probably know that a Nuzlocke means I said Bulbasaur up here. So he does pick Bulbasaur, which is honestly a really good pick. So good on you, I'm Pink Hero. That after losing a Pokemon, you cannot um, use it again. It needs to go to the PC. To the Explaining the rules of a Nuzlocke. Good, good. Not too late, not too early in the video. Uh, basically saying if a Pokemon dies, it's dead for good. That and I'll, you need to nickname it, so I'll nickname it like Seed because it's like... His editing and him like... Basically, commentating what the Pokemon is thinking is so funny to me. My life of battle, like, I don't know why that's such good comment what, back in 2013. What Pokemon is this anyway? Is this a turtle? A turtle that is not Squirtle? Whatever. So, let's go, Chinese Jancy X. It's a plant monster, man. Come on. Ridiculous. Let's fight in my Nuzlocke. Fuck yeah, it's a Nuzlocke. I'm playing a Nuzlocke. It's my first gameplay ever, and my English sucks, so whatever. Oh my god, he have a Charmander, Charmander, whatever. Oh no, she's, he's using Growl, my attack. So, it actually gets a little complicated. The fact that his opponent is using Growl is, is actually makes this fight a little more complicated, but if I'm Pink Hero were to just attack through it and spam tackles, he should be safe and it should be a victory. Let's see what he does. Fall. Oh my gosh, how can I survive? Let's use Tangle. Oh my god, again, Tangle. Oh no! My okay, good so far. He's tackled twice in a row, even though he's getting growled. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how can I survive? Oh my gosh. Use Tangle again, Seed. Let's use the same move as, as he's using. Oh my god, Scratch! No, how can I survive? But then he switches to Growl because his opponent has been, you know, statusing the whole time. So he gets kind of panicky and goes for that when I feel like he should just tackle through. Back to scratch. So let's... Charmander's defense, uh, attack, what defense? Attack, just go, just is good. Yeah, um, what the fuck am I saying anyway? So let's... So he goes for double Growl there. The same way his Charmander went for the, uh, the double Growl. So it's like this weird middle ground battle. Go attack. Attack is up. Let's use Tackle again. Yeah. Oh my god, he's using the third. Well, since that his Charmander got those growls off earlier, it was more impactful uh, now that he's uh, he's attacking. Like, his Charmander already is attacking. So, growling later on as opposed to the start, put him at a bit of a disadvantage. Attack. Oh my god, how can I survive? Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to lose. Yeah, uh, yeah. What the fuck? I, I think I'm going to lose. And this Unzlock is going to be over in like one part yeah and the jumpion reference oh my goodness i need to make a video totally dedicated to jumpion jumpion is the oldest freshest classic meme in potemo it essentially spawned i believe because players would just jump over other players randomly like that's how like they would get around and people would be like how like people would always ask people new players would ask players why how are you jumping why are you jumping and it became a meme to just respond with jumpy on i have jumpy on i have the jump stone which is an ev evolution you know jumpy on so that's a good yeah meme. whatever let's use ron again yeah yeah you can see i'm really trying to lose because i want to make a fast nuns lock and this is just a stupid video and a four memes video it was a good for memes video i'm pink hero you entertained us back then and you're still entertaining us now you have just lost four minutes for nothing you guys are just saying stupid words what the fuck if anyone has a oh my gosh steve lost oh my god and an unlucky crit 
will take him out. So a bit of bad luck, but a bit of misplay. Just a good meme overall. Rest in peace to nicknamed Char. Nickname Char character has lost. Oh my gosh. This means that my Bulbasaur is dead right now. So I probably have no Bulbasaur. This probably means that my Nunslock is over. Yes, it is. I'm Pink Hero. That brings us to the end of I'm Pink Hero's f t f t tale and fable about his Nuzlocke. It was a very fast Nuzlocke. Um, it was unfortunate that it had to end like that, but it's just hilarious to me to think about. This was the con this was like the only content we had available back in 2013. I think it's just peak 2013 YouTube and peak Pokemon content, Pokemon content back then. Hopefully you guys enjoyed reviewing this video today. I thought it was in good spirits and a good time, good meme. Make sure to check out I Am Pink Heroes or I Am Pink Heroes uh, channel in the description below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Check out the playlist links down below if you want to see more content after this video is over. Join the Discord to see whenever videos like this go up ASAP and just meet some really cool people, make some friends, maybe join a team uh, and just join the Pokemon community. And then finally, if you want to go above and beyond if my videos have brought you enough time, enough hours of entertainment over you know a period of time, you can go ahead and go above and beyond and become a YouTube member for five bucks a month, drop a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over my Twitch, or hit up my Patreon or my Venmo, or just my PayPal link, which is down below on streams and stuff. Um, but I appreciate it. None of that's ever required, obviously, but it does allow me to make more content. So thank you all so much. I appreciate the support. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.